All right, part two. So back to the I-70 situation. So yeah, it took me quite a while to get through I-70. And then when I got out of Denver, I had, like I said, I haven't driven this route in a very long time. And I happened to forget that you still have more mountains on the Utah side. So I spent another 25 to 35 miles an hour climbing in Utah. And I'm just out of this and I should be hitting 15 here pretty soon. So I'm still stuck on 70. Um, but I'm real close to 15, so I'll be in. I'll be on 15 tomorrow. Um, I got a fuel off of 15, and I was trying to make that today. And it was funny because Bill said you ain't gonna make that today. He actually had me. I forgot where he told me I was gonna get to, but he said you you are not going to make that today, especially when I told him how heavy I was, and I wasn't thinking about it because again I haven't driven this in so freaking long. But I don't think I did bad. Uh, 475 miles. Say 475? Yeah, 475 in 10 hours and change. Uh, which isn't bad for as heavy as I am. Because like I said, I'm over 40,000 pounds. Um, but I-70 always call ahead. I don't chain. So that's the other part about this. I, I avoid chaining like the plague. I have no problem driving snow. I don't necessarily drive ice. I have driven salted ice conditions and let me explain what that means um when i was with pride pride wanted you to chain they basically told you you were to chain they they believed in it because they're in utah to them that's normal but here's here's your thing if you are in a commercial vehicle and you get into an accident with chains on it is automatically your fault um because in their view you should not have been in the conditions as a commercial driver you were to use the tools at your disposal your phone uh, your radio whatever to know the weather conditions on where you're supposed to go okay so if, if you know you're going in an area which as a trucker you should know what areas are subject in the winter months to heavy winter issues then is your goal to call ahead and see if those issues are clear and also know the weather in which you're driving for example no offense to anybody unless you were stuck in Florida when it happened I wouldn't have been taking loads into Florida knowing that hurricane were coming or I would have stayed outside of the Florida area until that weather had passed. The same with the Houston, Texas situation. But again, you have a lot of drivers who, okay, I got to get there. I'm just going to get there. I'm going to get there and go fast, go fast. And so they don't do that. So like for me today or yesterday, I, the first thing I did, I was looking at A, what was going on around me. B, I made a phone call as soon as I got into Colorado to see what the weather conditions were going to be for the day I was leaving out. Because that's why I was trying to step through the night before. Because you don't know. And at this time of the year, the weather in Colorado can change on a dime. It can change instantly without you even having an idea. So, you don't know, you know, with weather, what's, what's actually going to happen with it. Um... So always check when you go through the I-70 corridor in any area where you're going to have weather, especially especially Colorado. Uh, you do not want to get, get caught up there. I have never had a chain in Colorado. I have chained once, and that was when I was in training back in 2010. I have never chained since. Um, and I have driven snow, and I have driven snowy ice, and I have been caught up in a mountain when the snow happened. And so, it, it again, those things, when, when you wanted to one time, it's, it's all you need to do. So for me, I will always call ahead. I will always find out what the uh, weather, and I will shut it down. That's one of the other reasons why I don't want to do my own rock program until after the winter months, after the first of the year. Because you're going to have to make truck payments, and a lot of people are going to rush to try to make do, go through all sorts of drama to make those truck payments in winter months, and even willing to risk driving in bad conditions. Whereas as a company driver, I just shut down and tell them, unsafe for me to drive due to weather. <laughs> The load is going to be behind due to weather conditions and they can't really you can't do anything whereas somebody who's trying to make a truck payment the weather conditions are kind of irrelevant that payment is still going to be due so at least if you get the truck after the winter months you can be putting money away so you can make your truck your weekly truck payment um you know and, and be prepared for inclement weather during the winter months and that way you can you know that's my goal you can um not worry about you know being safe Anyway, um, yeah, so tomorrow I know I will be in California, and then uh, I might have to do a split or something, because 
it's going to be real close on what I'm going to have to do to get this dumb thing in there. But I may have to have just the time. I have to see what tomorrow is going to look like. Because um, tomorrow I don't have as much. The mountain driving is pretty much. I think I'm pretty much done on the mountain driving. Well, I have to drop the grapevine. I'm thinking grapevine. I have to see how I'm going in. Because the grapevine is a beast. But that's about it. I am beat to death, y'all. Y'all have no idea how beat I am. But I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I'll be putting some bids up here. But I'm going to eat my sub in the cooler and then take my little black butt to sleep. Uh, if y'all have any questions, put them down below. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think it's Black Saint. Man, thank you. You have, uh, you make some comments. You have me, sometimes you have to hear me I'm cracking up. And then there was another homegirl. I've actually responded to you. I'll, I'll make some shout outs later. I responded to you and I went and actually checked your channel out. You had me cracking up and she's with Prime. Um, but I, you had me cracking up um, on some of your vids. But we'll talk later, y'all. Peace.